what what are the priorities now this summer? Well, I think one thing that's really important is that they don't do anything to take money out past one or two years because they're going to want to be a player in free agency and in max free agency when Giannis Adetokounmpo is available because drafting Costa Adetokounmpo is really all about legalized tampering. And you're, going to have, you're going to have his brother going home and telling Giannis all the time what an amazing organization this is. I promise you. So you're saying he makes was, the team right now. That was not an accident. Yeah. And I will be stunned if he goes away, in large part because the organization has a track record of developing young internationals. Good YouTube, it's the Sports Guru back with another video in today. We are not going to be talking about Luka Doncic, but maybe we'll talk about him a little bit in talking about a free agent the Dallas Mavericks could possibly pursue in the next few years. Yeah, it's the next few years, but maybe the Dallas Mavericks took their first step into recruiting him. So in the draft, of course, we drafted Luka Doncic. You know, I've been talking about him forever. I love the kid. And we drafted Jalen Brunson, Spalding, and, but with the last pick in the 60th pick in the draft, the Dallas Mavericks drafted Kosas. I believe it's Kosas. Don't get on me like that. Kosas Antetokounmpo. And he is the brother of Giannis. Kosas played at Dayton. Didn't do that much. Didn't do much. But he is very athletic. He is very tall. Kind of just like his brother. He got great athleticism. He put up like five points per game. Not much. But, you know, maybe there is some potential with him. But a lot of people think that, in, in, as you saw in that previous video before I began my intro, is... Former Cav GM said that Dallas, this is not like, not they're not just drafting Kosas for no reason. This is this is them trying to recruit Giannis. He said, this is they're trying to get him to tell his brother, "Ooh, Dallas is such a great organization. You know, come, you should come play with us." And Dallas is going to keep him on the roster, which the former uh, Cav GM says. I don't know his, I don't remember his name, but. He, he was like, he's a former GM, so I'm going to be like, okay, this guy's talking some logical stuff here, and I'm going to try to just build off of that and use it. So getting Giannis in, I believe he's a free agent in 2020 or 2021. I think it's 2021 possibly, but Dallas, and if you remember this, Dallas passed on him in 2013. They ended up drafting uh, Kelly Olenek and trading back to take Shane Larkin in the late teens. And that was due to the fact that the Mavericks were trying to free up a little more cap space and get Dwight Howard. But that did not work out, of course. And then plus, the sad part about it is the Dallas Mavericks almost drafted Giannis. <laughs> and um, Donnie Nelson, who drafted Dirk and now Luka, he wanted Giannis really badly. He loves these foreign prospects. He knows one when he gets one, you know. It's beautiful. And But... Unfortunately, we missed on him. So that's the sad part. Cuban's like, no, we got to go get this center. We got to get back and we got to get we got to get back in contention instead of being like a seventh or eighth seed. We got to get up there and get it. That was like that one year after the Mavs um, really had a bad year. They were in the lottery that year with the 13th pick, but they really whiffed on him. But now there's another chance that the Dallas Maver Mavericks could possibly get him. You know, Milwaukee. We're gonna look at them as a team. Does Giannis want to stay there? Um, over the next few years, we'll see what they do in adding players, but right now they are not definitely not good enough to win a finals or maybe even get to the finals, depending on what LeBron does. But I, don't, I just don't see them beating the Sixers. You, you know, they don't really have any good, great pieces around them. Eric Bledsoe is, uh, I think, a little bit of an overrated guard. You could call him overrated or you could call him underrated. I believe he's a little overrated. Um, he doesn't show up all the time. But Giannis could be a Dallas Maverick in within the next few years. Now just picture, now you would have Dennis, Luca at the two probably, Giannis at the three, or Luca at the four depending what happens in his progress, but I doubt he'll be at the four all the time. I can see, I just see him at the two most likely. But that would be a deadly one, two, three punch. You know, Harrison Barnes will be off his contract by then. The Mavericks would have a clean payroll by then. That's the beautiful part. Um, the former Cavs GM on the NBA TV or whatever, I think it's NBA TV, was saying that Dallas will look to sign somebody with the money they have this year, but not to a extremely long-term deal. So, like, say they go after Boogie. I say you sign him to a two-year deal, maybe one or two years, give him two years of max, and just let him see what happens, because you can afford to do it. Um, I don't see the Mavericks really getting Clay or Kawhi, players like that next year in the next free agency, or Kyrie. Definitely uh, not, I wouldn't say a need, but... I mean, I want to throw the max at him due to all of his injuries and stuff like that that he's been going through over the years with the knee. 
but Dallas could get Giannis, and that's the beautiful part about it. I mean, there's so much history with this, though, because the Mavs passed on him. We could have him already here, but hey, there's a chance of it happening. Um, it's a, It could be the stepping stone of getting Costas like that. We could get Costas. You know, I don't know where he'll be, and he knows he's going to get summer league time, but I don't know if he'll be on the G League team or he'd be maybe on the roster. I don't see him being on the roster. He, I mean, usually when you score five points per game, it's you don't get drafted unless you're based off of upside. But, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Um, that was just me hoping that <laughs> – giving y'all hope and giving myself hope that Giannis could possibly – be a Dallas Maverick within the next few years. Uh, they definitely wouldn't probably trade for him. We don't got pieces like that. Uh, unless you were trying to trade like Dennis or something, which I still don't think they would take. He's such a great player. They'd probably keep him, try to keep him there forever. But I do think Dallas will have a legit shot over the next few years. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. All right, I'm out.